we were asked quite a few weeks back if we would do a restaurant review of the place where we're going. They don't know we're going, so how we do it is exactly like we do anywhere else. It's unbiased. Uh, they don't know we're going. We don't want any special treatment, and we'll just see what it's like. Anyway, needless to say, a place called The Chef. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. That's it, I'm done. How's the pronto? The menu is quite extensive. There's like a hundred items as mentioned. Helen's currently looking through it. If I give you an idea of what the menu's like, you can see that there's quite a big selector. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Spotted. So we'll put the menus on anyway, so you get to see them. But we're all ordering something different, which is good. We've ordered the house wine, but the views from this place. We're at the back of the uh, back of the room, but the views are stunning. Cheese. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, what are you saying about the wine? You're just saying that's that's not a bad wine to have. There's a house wine. It's a good. It's, it's a nice wine, yes. actually. It's, it's Ribera del, del Segura. Yeah, I'm not sure how much it is a it's bottle, a but, that's, but that's decent. I can live with that wine. Yeah, live with that. <laughs> so. The guy's been friendly, so we've not had that for a while. So, we go for it. The guy's been quite friendly once he spotted that it was us. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to happen more often, isn't it? It is, that's what Maddie's just said to me, actually. She's going to happen more and more often. Which is, uh, as long as we get the same as everybody else that walks through the door. Yeah. We want, we want a genuine experience. Yes. It smells good. It does smell lovely. I can smell onions a lot. I wonder if that's my soup. No, I can, no, I can smell like, like uh, beer back onions or something like that. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. We did have them on the menu. The, the menu is big. Yeah. Quite difficult for me to choose because I'm so indecisive. Yeah, and I'll, I've mentioned already, on the menu doesn't include the paellas as well, all the Sunday roasts that we yeah. do from a tenner, all the fish and chips that they do as yeah. a special. So they seem to do a lot of everything. So they have got a really, a real diverse menu. They've got an Indian section to it as well. And Italian. They've got, I was just going to say, they've got a pasta section, they've got pizzas. Mexican. Yeah, they've got a Mexican section. I've just said Indian, yeah. They have a special section as yeah. well. Which is what I've ordered from, so. But, but the views, I mean, the, the weather today is... Yeah, it's is, a little bit windy and cold today, so we're sat inside. But it's sunny as... And... It's in a fantastic location. And it's straight yeah. overlooking the sea. Yeah, great location. Yeah, you'll see from the footage. Tell me what you've ordered. Well, what are you going to order? If we can eat, it's quite noisy in here. Combo platter for two. Which is... Um, nachos... Yes. No. Lots of stuff. A lot of stuff. And then for main courses, steak. And Solomillo, medium rare, two fillet steaks. Dad? Three fillet steaks. Three fillet steaks and some JD. And some JD chicken wings. And I'm having the JD chicken wings and I'm having minted lamb shank. Yep. And Andy's having the Texas white onion soup. White onion soup. And he's having and chicken the breast chi and the prawns. And the chef special yes, chicken. It's, it's, it's Chef special chicken, it's got it's chicken breast stuff with prawns, spinach, cheese with a plum cheese rock yeah. sauce. Sounds good. Sounds lovely. So the kids have got these. That's the share of the two. And you've got the Texas chicken breast. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and you've got uh, chicken wings, wedges, a little bit of garlic bread, and that. Oh, onion rings. Thank you. Please enjoy. Yours are different to mine. No, they were both ordered JD. I ordered JD. He didn't say JD. He just says, I want the chicken wings. So we need to swap them. No. Yours are JD. Unless we do our for our. We'll do our No. Okay then. So Helen's got the uh, JD chicken wings. Inadvertently didn't say JD when Bob ordered his. Which... And they're chicken wing chicken wings. I think they'll be barbecue sauce though. Yeah, that's JD sauce. Yeah, so if you want that sort of sauce there. I've ordered the uh, onion soup. Which I can't remember what's it, was it Texas white onion soup yeah. or something like that? Alright girls. Nice. That's what you call the jalapeno on the uh, These chili. chicken wings are lovely. Yeah. They're, they're lovely chicken wings, these. What's what? Have a taste of some good Andy. Never had this. Oh. That's phenomenal. Nice. So you like the nachos, yeah? I like them. Yeah. Good. The soup. Good thing. I put a little bit of salt and pepper in it, which is a good thing because it means it's not over seasoned like a lot of Spanish places have got too much salt in them. Beautiful. The wings are Superbly done. Yeah, they're really crispy on the but, outside. They look like. But if I, next time I come, I want to go for that. The combination platter. Combination platter for somebody. Because that's spectacular. It's got onion rings. I think there's mozzarella sticks. There's wedges. There's oh, garlic bread. Proper got a good, uh, good platter there. Good food with a barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce with this. So, I'm not adding with barbecue sauce. I've got plain that I'm just dipping in my JD sauce, but with the JD sauce on it, they're really sticky, they look like. Got some sauce, is there some sauce on that? There's sauce on it, yeah. They're, they're, them ones are cooked with the sauce on, they're really sticky. Just going to set my phone flying. And like sesame seeds as well on them. There's not many sesame seeds on it, do they? You can, ta you can taste it, can't you, though, with sesame seed? That's lovely. I'm not normally really good for this, but I prefer this sauce because I'm not a barbecue sauce for this. This JD sauce like, over and above barbecue sauce. I think it's nice. a nice sauce and it's quite sweet as well, isn't it? What did you think to that? Nice. What was your favourite bit? Nachos. Great big juicy jalapenos. Sounded interesting. I'm always worried in case you get wings and they're a little bit fatty and not. Yeah. I like them when they're crispy, but not when they. Soggy, soggy. Flobby. Is that a word? Floppy. But anyway, these. Flaccid. These were lovely and crispy. Yeah. And the JD sauce. I'm still, I'm still sticking. We're sticking. Very, very sticking. Nice. We are and a, sticking. And a little, little bit of sesame seed on top were lovely. But again, as far as allergies go, if you've got sesame seed allergies, it can be quite serious. Just bear in mind that there's going to be sesame seeds on that. Yeah. But you can get them without the sesame seeds. The, the, the ones I had didn't have sesame yeah, seeds on. You can send out just the JD sauce. Yeah. So you can have the plain wings with the JD sauce and just dip your own wings in it. So this is my lamb shank with mint sauce and it looks very green and the mashed potato which the mashed potato look really really mashed those vegetables come with our lamb shank as well mashed potato is more like pure lamb, I think. so this is the chef special which is chicken stuffed with spinach and prawns with a rope sauce 
Neither do I. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't think I've had, we've had any extra special treatment or any different to no. anybody else, which is good. Would we come again for me? Yes. Yeah. So we're looking at the... Um, I want brownie. I'm having brownie. I'm going to have some panna cotta. The dessert menu. I love panna and cotta. And the dessert menu, they're saying they're all homemade. Said cheesecake. Well, it's a bit like cheesecake. Yeah, it's a bit like a Spanish cheesecake. So it's not got the biscuit base. It's more like a sponge base. White coffee and soberano. So we've just been to the chef here at Mill Palmeiras. The setting and the surroundings are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. The sky's clear. And the food was brilliant. Yeah, it was a really nice meal. And it's a massive, massive menu you can choose from, yeah. so there's something for everybody. It's a bit difficult for me. There's too much choice. Yeah. <laughs> but there is, there's all sorts of things to choose from. You've got Spanish, English, Italian, Mexican, Indian. It's got, there's a huge yeah. menu, a huge menu. Definitely we want to visit, and especially if you want something that's got views out to the sea, in the summer when you're outside on the terrace, Fantastic. They do a Sunday lunch for 10 euros. Yeah, which is three courses. They also yeah. do fish and chips, they do paellas, and this is all in and above, over and above the normal menu. Yeah, so the normal menu is the, is the huge menu that you've got to choose from. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Yeah, if you're in the area, give them a, give them a visit because they're worth a visit. Yeah, uh, don't forget, we'll put down below details of the menus and how to get hold of them and everything else. Have a look on the website, t.co.com, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've yeah, enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. After pronto. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. And ring that bell. Adios. Adios. After pronto, again. So we, we've been to the chef last week, we're doing the editing and everything else. We have no issues at all with the food no, from the, the chef. Food really were nice. Yeah. Uh, the food really Service me, was really, really good. For me, too much choice. Yeah, over 100. I, I really struggled to decide what I wanted because there were that many things on that menu. For me, if I've got a choice of that, maybe four starters, four main courses and four desserts, that's better because I have to choose one of them. Yeah. But what um, we will say is the price of the bill when we've finished, and like we said, we're not, we've got no issues with the quality of the food, the service, and everything else is really good, the views are fantastic. The, the, the waiting staff were yeah. really friendly, yeah. like really, really friendly. What we will say is the price by the time we've finished, put it into the ballpark or more than uh, restaurant Punta Prima or Finca with Batty. Yeah, it were, it were quite expensive. So, had we gone for, like we said though, had we gone for the Sunday lunch, yeah, it would have been a lot cheaper. Ten of each. But we, we wanted we to try different yeah, things, you know. Yeah, so so, it, were, it were a bit expensive. Yeah, that's us just being honest. No issues. If you go, hope you enjoy yourselves. You'll get some good attention there. Yeah, and, uh, and you've it's, got a, it's a nice place and it's in a great location as well. So there you go. That's us being honest as always. Yeah.